Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we got the big bobber from Plane Pro on the workbench and we're going to show you how to assemble the entire airplane. And on the next video we're going to add electronics and get your transmitter set up for the main flight. The first part we're going to assemble is the fuselage. I use Zappa Gap Medium CA Glue and I use Zip Kicker CA Accelerator. I've assembled quite a few 3D printed airplanes and tested a lot of different glues, tested like Gorilla Glue and some different CA glues and I definitely recommend this glue for 3D printed planes. It's very, very strong. Uh, it's not an epoxy or anything, it's just a CA glue, but it's very strong CA glue and it works really good on this plastic. Uh, and then I'm just going to use some modeling uh, black gloss paint to paint this dashboard. Uh, just do this very early on because it's a lot easier to paint this now before I this, you know, insert the windshield or insert any of the grid portions on the front there. It's just a lot easier to get this done right now. And it really looks cool when it's all painted. All right, so now that we have those two pieces assembled, we're gonna use these tabs to glue into the fuselage. Uh, these make a really nice, strong uh, connection there and uh, makes it really easy to assemble. We're gonna use a nice meat of CA glue for this because this is uh, the part that has the motor attached to the front, so we wanna make sure that's nice and strong there. Okay, so here's the majority of the fuselage here. The front portion's all complete. Now we're gonna start working on the grid section. Okay, for this rear portion, just make sure you don't glue this on. We're gonna just screw it on for now and we're gonna be removing that later on. Purchase this assortment of screws off Amazon. I definitely recommend uh, purchasing some screws like this because there's a lot of screws in this build and uh, it just makes it a lot easier if you just order an assortment of these. Uh, they recommend it to assemble this. And then we're just gonna add a little glue to that front portion and like I said, screw the rear portion on for now because we'll remove that for the next section. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the rear grid portion of the fuselage. This is definitely the most technical part of the build. Uh, you wanna make sure you get all these pieces right. We're gonna use this uh, grid assembly tool and add a little bit of CA glue there and then use that tool to align the pieces. Uh, you definitely wanna make sure that the pieces are the same length the entire time. This is gonna make the tail look straight and everything. So we need to, once I glue one portion together, I lay it over the other one and verify the length is correct. And if it's a little bit too long, this is where you can trim it just a little bit uh, to make it the same length. So just keep checking each portion to make sure they keep staying the same length. And then again, we'll glue the front portion on and then we'll verify again uh, just to make sure that they're the right length. Okay, once we have those assembled, we'll go ahead and add these uh, little pieces of plastic to add some strength to them. Okay, then we'll set those aside and we'll start working on the tail portion. Uh, this is called the brim there. That's used to keep the piece adhered to the bed when you're printing it. And then we'll just go ahead and scrape all that off and use a sanding block and try to sand those pieces so they're nice and smooth. And then we'll glue it all together. We'll glue the rudder piece on. And we'll get glue the two portions of the elevator together. There are some pieces that need to be removed, uh, like this piece on the rudder. I use a hot knife to remove it and then use a Dremel tool and a knife just to clean up the corners there and make it look nice. Uh, I need to drill these holes out to make sure that these collars fit in there correctly, so I just use a drill bit and drill those out. It's easier to do it right now than after it's assembled. You can hear in the background my printer is running. Uh, I'm actually printing off the wing right now, so you can actually assemble this in any order that you like. Uh, I actually ended up assembling 
the fuselage first because it's the less amount of pieces to print. And then while I'm assembling this, I'm printing off the wing because the wing took about, about three days to print that all out. So uh, while that's printing off, then I'm just assembling this fuselage because it's definitely is the more like tedious part and more challenging part to build. Uh, the wing just clicks together really easy. You just glue it all together. It's really simple. Okay, now we'll go ahead and screw the tail portion onto the rear part of the grid and make sure not to glue this rear seam for right now. Um, that's just to make sure that we can get the tail lined up with the main part of the wing. Uh, we'll do that later. So the next step is we're going to insert these middle grid pieces into the rear part of the fuselage and I go ahead and put them in without glue first and then put the push rods in there just to make sure I have them all lined up correctly and I kind of make note of how they're supposed to go in there and then once I know exactly how they should go then I can remove them add the glue uh, and insert them where they should be at You'll need a few carbon rods and tubes. This is a six millimeter carbon tube and then a three millimeter carbon rod and two 1.5 millimeter carbon rods. So we'll go ahead and cut the six millimeter rods to length and you can use the PDF file that Plain Print has for the length of those. Then we're gonna add wing one left and right onto the fuselage and we're gonna line the tail up with the wing so you can see it's a little bit twisted, so I'm just going to use a little bit of masking tape and tape it down to the table to straighten that out. And once it gets lined up nice and straight, we're going to add a little CA glue and glue this tail portion together. And make sure to add this uh, rear hinge for the rudder on there in this step. And then we're going to just hold that and zap it with a little bit of CA accelerator. And then once we have that set, we're going to go ahead and check the alignment with the uh, wing once again and you can see I need a little bit of a twist there so I'm going to add some masking tape to the wing to hold it where I want it and then I'm going to insert the rest of the grid pieces while I have that tape set. Once we have the entire rear part assembled, we're gonna add a little bit more CA glue to all the joints to make sure it's nice and strong. Now we're gonna go ahead and insert the hinges for the elevator and the rudder. I just add a little CA glue and then just take them right into the slots. And then once I have those in there, I'm gonna insert the elevator. And then once I get the elevator all the way on there, I'm gonna just add a little dab of glue I use a pair of tweezers and put a little bit dab of CA glue on there and then just brush that glue right onto the hinge and that's just enough that it can hold that hinge in place. Okay, now we'll start working on the landing gear. So we'll just assemble these tires. They're pretty easy. Just insert the rims there. Just a small dab of glue is all you need to just get the rims lined up with the other half so that way you can see through the rims very nicely. This is where I use the three millimeter carbon rods. Just insert that and then mark it with a marker and then we'll cut that to length and repeat the process for all the rods.
For the machine screw, I use a 632nd screw. Uh, they were recommended millimeter size in uh, plain print, but it's hard to find uh, the exact size in the state. So I just, uh, 632nds worked uh, just fine for this. And then I just had to cut it to length. Just make sure you use a nylon lock nut on this. So that way the nut won't fall off when you're flying it. Okay, now we'll add the rubber bands to the landing gear. In this step, you don't have the, the wing or the, any of the battery installed, so it seems like one or two of these will just do just fine. But once you add all the weight to it, you need quite a few of these rubber bands to make it nice and strong landing gear. Uh, again, you can use a three millimeter rod for this rear axle for the tail wheel. And this is where the M3 by 18 machine screw comes in uh, for this tailwheel piece here. Uh, now we'll go ahead and start working on these engines. So we'll add the screws in place. So that way it just kind of centers it on the engine and then we'll add a little bit of glue and uh, glue these uh, valve covers onto the engines. And there's a short exhaust there. You can see and those go towards the front. So I'll line those up so that the short exhaust pipe is towards the front of the airplane. And then we'll go ahead and add those in. Okay, and then we'll just set the fuselage aside. You can see I have the motor and the prop and the electronics added in there. I'm gonna show you guys how to set all that stuff up in the next video. Uh, this is just strictly how to assemble everything. So next thing we wanna do is uh, look at all your wing pieces. Uh, you wanna set them all out and make sure that they're in the correct order so you glue them all in the right order. Wing one left and right is easy to tell because it has a servo mount and then it has the hole for the six millimeter carbon rod. Uh, and then between wing two and three, uh, wing two has a servo for the aileron and the wing three does not have any servo mount. And then there's just the wing tips that go on the end. So once you have all those laid out, uh, we're gonna go ahead and test fit wing one left and right. Uh, you should have already done this to line up the tail, uh, but if you haven't, uh, just make sure that the six millimeter carbon rods fit easily inside of wing one left and right. So you can see here, uh, the right side doesn't fit too well. So what we're gonna do is use six millimeter carbon rod, put a barbecue skewer inside of it, and that allows it so that when you put the drill down onto it, it doesn't uh, you know break down the carbon rod. And I'm just going to run the drill in and out of those holes uh, to make those uh, carbon rods slide into the wing a lot easier. Uh, and then once we have that all set up, uh, we're ready to start uh, test fitting these pieces together. So we're just going to just test fit them together, make sure that they fit together uh, easily uh, and in the correct uh, configuration. Uh, and then once uh, we get that, we're going to go ahead and clean these up a little bit. Uh, just use a blade and a little bit of sanding to clean up the edges uh, just to make sure that uh, just makes the fit cleaner uh, to each piece. Uh, there's just a little bit of a bevel on the bottom of the wings. So you just want to clean that up so that it uh, has a nice clean fit. Uh, and then we'll just add a nice bead of CA glue uh, and then just fit all these pieces together. And we'll wipe off any excess glue.
When I'm gluing all this stuff together, uh, whether it's the wingtip or the fuselage, I don't like to use the CA accelerator uh, as little as possible just because when you use that CA accelerator, uh, it can actually change the look of the CA glue a little bit. It can actually kind of make it bubble a little bit, and I think it makes it turn a little bit of a yellow tinge to it. It's not as noticeable uh, for this airplane because it is a yellow airplane, but if you're doing it like in a white PLA or something, you can really notice it. Uh, when you spray that CA accelerator on it, it'll turn the glue actually yellow tinge to it. Uh, so I'd like to just add a bead of glue and then just let it sit for a couple minutes for it to dry. Uh, and that gives the cleanest finish uh, when you're gluing all these parts together. Now we'll start working on the ailerons and flaps. So just like with the tail portion, uh, there's the brim on the uh, bottom of the control surfaces. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, peel that off, clean it off with a blade and with a sanding disc. Before I glue these together, I want to make sure that I drill out this hole for the on the flaps. They have these uh, horns on there, so I want to just drill that out to make sure that these uh, connectors go into there for the push rods. And then uh, we're ready to glue all these pieces together. And then we can lay out the flaps and ailerons and get the TPU hinges set in place. And then uh, again, I'll just set those TPU hinges into the control surfaces, add a little dab of glue there and then spray that with the uh, CA accelerator. With the hinges installed in the ailerons and the flaps, now we can add those to the wing. Then we go ahead and add this uh, nozzle to the glue bottle and that allows me to get a little bit more precise glue right into that hinge location in the wing. And I'm holding the wing at an angle so that the CA glue will drain down into the hinge and then once I have all those set up we'll just spray it with a little bit of CA accelerator and all the hinges are installed. Now once we installed the 6mm tubes on the fuselage and add the two halves of the wing, we're going to go ahead and glue the rear tube into the fuselage. So we're just going to add a couple of dabs of glue there and then I'm going to pull the wing away from the fuselage until that dries so that way it doesn't accidentally glue the wing to the fuselage. And then we're going to flip that over, grab a 1.5mm drill bit, and we're going to drill screw holes into the carbon tubes uh, through the wing. So we're just going to, these holes here, we're going to drill until it clicks down one, and that just clicks into the first layer of the tube. It won't go all the way through the tube. We just want it to go through the first por uh, portion of the tube. And then we're going to add screws in to attach the wing to the fuselage. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do is add the struts to the wing. Uh, they're pretty self-explanatory. Just glue these pieces on and screw them to the fuselage and the wing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, this video is meant to be used in correlation with the PDF file that PlainPrint has. It's just a little bit more of a visual uh, reference to all the stuff that he's talking about in the PDF file. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out my last video about printing uh, this airplane. That's definitely one of the most challenging parts is getting a good quality print. So I hope that video is helpful to you guys. And the next one, we're going to add all electronics, add the servos, set all the uh, controls up, and then finish up some fine tuning. There's still a couple things that we need to do to finish this plane up, like add a windshield, uh, the dashboard, and add some strings to the rudder. So just some little fine tuning here and there. And uh, just make sure to check out that video and some other videos will be popping up on the screen here. If any of these look helpful to you guys, make sure to click those buttons. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.